Today, we're just gonna play with watercolor. Do some experimenting, figure some things out. I would suggest that you try to at least draw some shapes. I wouldn't get too crazy with it because you're experimenting, you don't want it to take forever. But practice filling in some shapes. Practice uh, mixing colors together. Practice just playing with the watercolors. Some of you might have used watercolors before. Some of you may have never used any watercolors ever. So when you get into your watercolor tray, it probably comes with a paintbrush, hopefully. You'll wanna get some water to have next to you as well. Make sure you got plenty of water on your brush when you go to pick up the color. And you can pick color up directly out of the tray and put it onto the paper and see what you can make. You can go back and get some more, see what you can do with it. Make sure you wash out your brush, otherwise you ruin your colors. And then you can go get another color. Uh, if you'd like to, you can also mix colors in, in this tray over here that's attached to it. So here I've got some red and I'm gonna put it on this blue part, see what I can make. I just made purple, that's pretty cool. Now you can paint with the colors you make. So experiment and have fun, see what you can come up with. Try out some different things. See what happens when you put a lot of water and a little bit of color, or a lot of color and a little bit of water. What happens when you take a color and put it over the top of another color? Does it work very well? Experiment with the watercolors. Try it out. Test out each of the colors. See which ones you like the best. If you are trying to do something and it's not working, try it again and see if you can get it to do what you want it to do. We'll discuss our findings later and see if everybody was having similar problems and issues and I can probably help you figure out how to solve those problems. I'm gonna paint in some shapes because a lot of watercolor is filling in areas. But I'm also gonna to try to mix some colors together because that's also a lot of what watercolor is. So here's purple, I'm gonna put it right on top. Now when, you're, when it dries, it's probably gonna look different. The paper that I'm using right now is technically drawing paper. So when you look really close, you might see the little dots where the water soaked through the paper. If you're using watercolor paper, then watercolor paper acts a little bit differently. It's really fun to use watercolor paper because the paint doesn't actually soak into the paper very quickly. It kind of sits on top and then you can move it around and mush it around and stuff. So have fun, try out different things. Try not to ruin your watercolors. I will give you another tip and that is don't scoop paint out of your watercolor tray. If you end up filling one of your little trays of color with water, and then you go in and you just scoop out color, use tons of it and glob it on there, you're gonna run out of watercolor and you're not gonna have enough when we get to our fun project. So practice experimenting with mixing things, experimenting with painting the different colors. See if you can figure out how to make different values, how to make a dark green and a light green. And then just play, enjoy, have fun.